I know people who've um, they lost a wallet that they used to to buy a pizza for like five Bitcoin. And they're like, and now the wallet had like 15 Bitcoin left on it. And they're just like, oh my God. I have so many horror stories. Uh, my friend's dad needed uh, a computer. And I just decided like, oh, I have an old iMac. Just I'll wipe it and you can have it. I wiped 100 Bitcoin off my computer. Oh my God. I, I spent five Bitcoin on a couch from Overstock for like some cheap leather couch. And like now it's like the world's most expensive couch, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I feel like we all made those mistakes. And then, but it's also like, you gotta learn. Yeah, I always say to people that like, like, oh, so like, I can't believe like, like, that, like, I, if I would have bought back then, I wish I would have bought back then. But like, I don't think most people had the conviction to hold back then because people don't realize like the extreme, the extremes that the crypto crypto went through. Like, I remember being on such a high when like Bitcoin hit twelve hundred dollars, and I'm like, this is amazing, like to the moon, blah blah. blah. And then like a few days later, it went down to like eighty, and I was like, okay, my life is over. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like there's a, the extreme like cycles that, that crypto has gone through. I mean, like Bitcoin, like before, like not saying it was low, but like at a few thousand, but like before 2020, like mid 2020, it was at a, a low for a bit. Um, yeah. The 2017 like drop. It takes a lot of conviction and it's, you got to have the stomach for it for sure. Yeah. There was two, there's two bad winters. There was the one prior to the sort of 2017 boom, uh, which is mainly mm-hmm. in late 2017 now in hindsight. I first got into working in the space in sort of like 2017, early 2018. So I experienced the second crypto winter, which was definitely not as long as but the company I worked at. They went from 10 staff to four staff during winter one. Mm. Winter two, when I was there, there was 15 of us. So we just didn't hire any more new people for a period of time. Like engineers come and go, obviously, mm. but no other sort of core operational stuff. And then... Yeah, it was sort of, it was definitely, it really kicked off during COVID. Like March, April is when things just went bananas. And then we had the NFT oh, yeah. boom. Oh, yeah, the NFTs. And yeah, it's it's been interesting to watch. But like, yeah, like when, like that first, like when you're like, I don't know, like 20, like Bitcoin was like a lull for a while, like $500 for a long time for years. And that's when I use like, oh, it's safe. Like I'll just use Overstock to buy a couch. Like the Bitcoin's not moving. Like it's fine. It's like a thousand dollars for a couch, whatever it is. Um, a few thousand it was. And yeah, it was a big mistake. But yeah, and I also like in 2014, I was also mining Litecoin. Like I was like doing it. I, I tried everything like in the space, like with ICOs in 2017. Um, didn't make any of myself just part- was partaking, but I used to mine. And yeah, it's, I try to follow the evolution of the space. And now like with the NFTs and Diva, just the newest evolution of, this, of, uh, of crypto. When you were going through those winter periods, what were you doing? Were you the type of guy who would dollar cost average into things like Ethereum and just investigate what else was going on? How were you looking at this space during these lower periods? Because this is where like I look at so many people who have gotten into this space and like Gen Z types in particular who are really young. And um, they're like, they're going through this boom and we know that there could be a period of time where there's a lull again. So... Yeah. I look at that and I go, I'm just going to dollar cost average everything that I'm in already, the projects that I really believe in. I'm curious for you, how did you view 2018? So well before that, and this is like something I advice I still get to this day, all my friends that like, you know, like Bitcoin is too expensive, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, but like, it's look at the trajectory it's gone on for the past few years. Like if you truly believe in the space, just set a weekly buy. It doesn't matter how much it is. It could be a dollar, it could be a hundred dollars, it could be a thousand dollars, whatever your your budget permits, like that you can allow, like that you allow if you have conviction, that's what you can afford to, the same way you'd like, even if it's like this, what you would have spent on coffee that week, just throw it mm-hmm. into Bitcoin or Ethereum or any pro, like any coin that you believe in, and you'll you'll dollar cost average pretty well. It'll work out for you and you'll build the nest egg over time. Like you don't need to like buy like for some like it's I think people are over it finally. Um, but for years, people had this like mental block where like, I need to own one Bitcoin. I need to own a full Bitcoin. I can't own a portion of it. Like, I don't know what the mental block is with that. But now, like, I think people are accepting the fact that fractional fractional uh, coins are, are okay. Like, they don't yeah. need to own a full one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. 